So apparently John Cena wants to bring back blood. What's going on guys? It's your boy. I'm um, sorry I haven't uploaded any videos lately because I thought I've lost my charger to uh, charge this baby up, but thankfully my mom found it on the, well, well clearly it was on my on my bed. <laughs> sorry. It was on my bed the whole time, so um so yeah, um I wanted to talk <sighs> sorry. I wanted to talk to y'all about things I've heard about recently about John Cena bringing back blood. Well, here's my here's the problem I have with it. One, if you say you wanted to bring blood back, why couldn't you just change your character? That's my biggest problem with John Cena. And the second thing is when People asked Linda McMahon about the PG ratings, said that never say never, the PG era is pretty much where it's at. I don't believe that for a fact because how many of uh, superstars have been selling PG product over the last five or six years, ever since 2008? But I will admit, 2008 and 9 has been good when it comes to wrestling matches. Although there were some blood, some chair shots to the head still. But ever since 2010 came around, I feel like that's when I noticed the company has been going down the drain a lot. And, and you know what, man? I got a confession for y'all. I used to be a John Cena fan. Back then, you know, when he stopped rapping, um, he was pretty much okay when... His character, well, ever since he uh started battling the Nexus, though, so, but that was just that's pretty much just a storyline that I actually care about. I never did like the Nexus, or I would never be a fan. But now looking back at it, I'm like, okay, maybe they did make an impact because I thought they were like for real at first, but then I realized that okay, they're a group from NXT season one. So they wanted to make an impact into WWE, and boy, did they ever. But until John Cena screwed it up, burying the Nexus, all you got to do is just call Vince, Vince up, give him a gold shovel, and just bury them suckers alive. That's pretty much what he does nowadays. Well, nowadays, it just bury people. Um, Getting back to... The blood thing. You've seen a lot of blood lately, you know, even though it's still PG. They claim that it's a new era, a new reality era, but it's still PG. And it sucks. But if they if but if they were to go back to T V fourteen, it could be a fresh start. The products will sell great. The crowd, everybody will tune in every single week, you know, instead of just being all can't be like it was in the nineties and the eighties and stuff. I mean, the 90s, I don't mind, you know, but when it came to, to the Attitude Era, that's when wrestling changed my life. I, even though I've never seen wrestling back in the day, I've seen a little bit of it between Undertaker and Stone Cold and a little bit of it and stuff. Um, and you know what, though? If he said he wants to bring back blood, why can't he just change his character? That's my biggest problem I have with John Cena. But it's not really his fault. It's Vince though. Because. I mean. It just sucks of how. Th of how this day and age. It can be pretty bad. Like I'm really. Like I'm, I'm kind of starting to lose some faith in WWE. Now that you think about it. In my opinion. They, they, they should just. Go back to where it was before. And. TV 14. A lot of blood. A lot of spam. <coughs> A lot of profanity stuff like they used to have. Uh, the bikini matches. Yeah, that was fun. But kids didn't care. Adults didn't care. Teenagers didn't care. I mean, when you think about it, about teenagers nowadays, when they don't care, they pretty much play Grand Theft Auto 5, Mortal Kombat, a lot of blood. They, they watch a lot of scary, scary movies and stuff. A lot of adult, adult things in TV and stuff. When, when your kid's watching, so... <sighs> I got another problem with it too. Each time when they ask 
they were asked a lot of questions. They tend to always use kids as an excuse, use kids as the weapons of them of their product being great, using six children to get more money. That's a huge no no. I just want to know what happened to the wrestling product. And something tells me that this company is going to be out of business soon. TNA is about to go out of business because they're already losing their top guys. Samoan Joe, AJ Styles, Eric Young. Soon Bobby Roode is going to uh, join. Because I've seen him in NXT one time watching somebody. Um... And then we. I mean, he said he wants to bring back blood, so why can't he? If only Vince McMahon, Vince Cancer McMahon, can allow it to happen, because I know he's not going to. And part of the reason why I didn't do a reaction to last week's money or all, because of what they did to China. Because. Triple H and Stephanie ruined her life, basically. Wanted to work things out with her, but refused. So, after she left the company back in the day, her and x pot made the sex team. And if you guys remember my last, my last video I made about China's death, of how much of an impact she had in the wrestling world, and, and during the outside of the wrestling world, she pretty much just went downhill with the little porn thing, drug, drugs, rehab and stuff, reality TV and all that. She pretty much cleaned herself up all the, after all that little fiasco. When you're going to teach English in Japan, then wanted to come back into the United States. Wanted to work things out with the company, but they refused. They rejected her and stuff. What a shame, man. So... A lot of people have been criticized, criticizing Triple H and Stephanie about the quote about China. They should be, cause they they can't own them. They can't own them to their responsibility. They can't own them to their jump. That's my um. That's pretty much my biggest issue I have with the company. So. Um. Now they're saying, well, I've been on Facebook lately and I've been, you know, looking at wrestling comments saying that do they want China in the Hall of Fame? I personally do because she deserves it. She should have been in the Hall of Fame a long time ago, but you know how gay people can be when it comes to PG era and all that bull crap. No, we can't put it in the Hall of Fame because of blah, 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 sex tape, blah, 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 drugs, blah, blah, blah. Just all that BS excuses that I don't even care. So, a lot of people were angry about WWE, and they should. Because they criticized, well, they were criticized for all the crap they wrote on the internet. Sending their condolences to her family. I just want to just scream at the TV and just curse, cuss them out for what the crap they done. A lot of people say I should blame the WWE. Well, you know what? I should because Triple H and Stephanie ruined her life. Because they dated in real life one time and then before Triple H broke her heart. Training her for a trash trash bag hole, Stephanie McMahon. I'm sorry, but that she is. And I have lost all respect for both of them. I don't care. I don't care how they are in real life. They're still buttholes. Cause I don't know what to say. Now a lot. Of, now everybody else saying that Vince McMahon is gonna uh, choose the GM of, of of Monday Night Raw or SmackDown. Well, shoot. You know what? Just choose the freaking manager of the WWE. I'll choose, I'll choose Shane because he's doing a good job so far. I don't care if it's, it's, if it's storyline or not. He's pretty much a better GM than Stephanie and Triple H. Of uh, them keeping the same old, old 
washed up, hurt superstars in the WWE, refuses to let new people, well, they pretty much review, no, refuse to basically develop newer superstars from NXT, from other wrestling companies to come to the main roster and just develop them more, you know? And if you bring them to the WWE, don't wash them down. Let them be themselves. And something tells me that the Bullet Club is going to debut, I think, after Payback. Because, I, you know what, I'll tell you what. I have second thoughts about doing a reaction. I, well, I didn't want to do a reaction for a reason because of what's going on with China and stuff so I'm gonna do a reaction but I'm just not going to be happy as I was be amped like I was before so I think I'm gonna do it man so like I said I mean it's been a while since I uploaded a YouTube video because I've been out of town you know so yeah. I think I might, you know what? I'm going to do it, man. Because I know y'all been wanting me to do a reaction, so I'm going to do it. Um, Then I'm going to make another video about people just still sexualizing Elizabeth Banks as readable poster for the Power Rangers movie. And if you don't like it, don't like it. You can't expect every, you know what? You know what? <laughs> I'll save. Oh, excuse me. I'll save all that in, in my uh, second video. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy my thoughts on John Cena bringing back blood and Linda McMahon on PG. So I'm gonna end this video on a good note. So tomorrow I'm going to see you guys. At 8 o'clock in my reaction videos of Monday Night Raw. And if Shane is still GM, I'm still watching. Until then, peace out.